All right, well, welcome. Thank you so much for being here this afternoon and for joining us for this <coughs> signing ceremony. I want to give a shout out to a few of our special guests here in addition to the entourage from UCA, which we're glad to have. Uh, we have Susan DeBoard here, who's a member of the Hendricks Board of Trustees, also a retired educator. And uh, in, in that same vein, we invited Sue Ferris, who is a retired educator and a member of the college's Alumni Association Board of Governors. And of course, these are all alums of Hendricks. Mary Beth Garrison, who is a, another retired educator, also a neighbor in the village and a great friend to the institution. And sh is Shelly here? I, I invited Shelly, but I didn't see her, so I will skip over that. Uh, okay. Mary Beth taught for us as well. So yes, lots of deep relationships here in the Hendricks community as always. I'll give you a little bit of background and then we'll move on to the to the, uh, President Davis's remarks and the signing of the ceremony. Most of you probably know more than I do about the history of Hendricks, but in 2016, we phased out our education program and there, there are a lot of reasons for that, but primarily, it's really difficult for a small institution to comply with all of the regulations required for teacher education. It's just onerous. And it's, it's unnecessary, frankly, when we have an institution down the street that was founded as a normal school and that right. has a strong history in teacher education and has that infrastructure in place. We do have students still who come through here who want to be K through 12 teachers, which is something that the state desperately needs and we are certainly supportive of. And they often will go off and they will leave Hendricks, graduate and do a two year master's program in order to get that certification. And when I got here, that didn't make a lot of sense to me because we have this great neighbor who does this work already and we have this opportunity to partner with, with UCA and allow our students to have access to essentially a four plus one program but really complete a master's and bachelor's degree in five years and actually get into the classroom as early as that fifth year. That is a win for our students, it's a win for our community and it's a win for the state of Arkansas and certainly for both of our institutions. So this, this MOU, which is the first of many I hope that we will sign over the years with our neighbors, really serves our students well and it serves our, our state well, but it reflects to me the beauty of being in Conway, Arkansas and the city of colleges in the relationships that we have with our neighbors that, and with the higher education institutions in this area that allow us to be really good stewards of those resources and really contribute to the thriving and flourishing of this community. This is a great city, I've said it many times. I'm glad to be here and this is just one example of what we can do as, as we work forward, work together in the next, uh, in the years ahead to serve the, uh, serve the needs of the community and the state. So with that, I will turn it over to President Davis and we will move on. Well, thank you, President Peterson. I want to echo um, her comments about what a blessing it is for us to be able to partner. There um, are a lot of good things about the city of colleges, but uh, we especially, I mean, Hendricks and UCA um, have this, that we feel like we can collaborate when it makes sense to do so. Um, and there's not just having to convince each other to do that, um, it's, hey, let's make that happen. Uh, we, we certainly um, enjoy uh, being able to have partnerships like this. Um, I uh, also just want to draw attention to a couple people that are here. Um, number one, I mean, no, no offense to the rest of cabinet, but I'm going to go to Dean Vicki Grove Scott first uh, <laughs> because no, none of this would be possible in terms of thinking about how our faculty and our coordinators in this uh, space on the education side could happen without our College of Education uh, being open to innovation and, and thinking about ways to be able to move for that forward. So, Dean Grove Scott, thank you very much for that leadership. There certainly are a number of uh, others. Our, our, would it be provost-elect, I guess? Uh, <laughs> Dr. Michael Hargis um, is here. Uh, he will be in, in that role. Our current dean of uh, the College of Business will be provost um, of the university beginning July 1st, if not feeling like you are now. Um, good to have you here, Chief of Staff. I'm Amy Whitehead, VP for Enrollment Management. Kevin Thomas, I see VP for Advancement. Mary Lackey, you see Warren Reedenauer um, here, our general counsel. And I'm missing probably a couple of Dr. Mills uh, is over here, uh, associate dean in the College of Education, as well as uh, graduate interim graduate dean now. So many of the people that have to come to the table uh, to be a part of making things like this happen um, are joining in this. And as President Peterson mentioned, hopefully this is the first of many times that um, our faculty, our staff of our collective institutions look up and say, "Hey, here's a challenge." Here's an opportunity. You have an asset. We have an asset. How can we work together to make that happen? 
Um, so uh, when, when that happens, I think mm -hmm. that makes presidents look like we're smarter than we are. <laughs> um, so we, we appreciate um, all of our teams uh, that have made that. Um, I want to um, just also thank Hendricks College, and I'm in year eight, um, which sounds strange to say, uh, but there's never been a time during my eight years that I've not been able to call upon uh, the team here at Hendricks uh, to, to, to come in partnership, to come in collaboration, to take on things. So I just appreciate the nature um, of our partnerships as institutions. Um, President Peterson mentioned that at the heart of what we're doing here is really the history um, of what UCA does. I mean, 1907, we started um, as normal school. Uh, for the state of Arkansas and throughout our history we certainly have expanded and we've grown in terms of our undergraduate and our graduate majors uh, but there is an incredibly proud history that we have in serving uh, in teacher education leadership innovation uh, technology as it relates to the classroom um, this is just another time where as I see it um, UCA bringing its asset forward to be able to think about how can we do something that's incredibly important for the state of Arkansas we have a shortage of teachers um, I don't think that we have a shortage of individuals that are interested in teaching and whenever we can find some way to break down time barriers and expense barriers and time being one of the number one uh, barriers in that list, um, I think that's very, very, very helpful to the citizens of Arkansas, those folks um, that have grown up here as well as those that come to Hendricks and UCA uh, from, from afield. Um, this program will uh, do great things for those individuals, and then we know that that accrues to the good for the state. So we want to be good stewards uh, for our state. We want to provide leadership here within the city of Conway. Um, and again, if you're going to have the moniker city of colleges, these are the things that you do um, when it's time to come together. So by all means, we're excited to be able to do this. We're excited about what this is going to do for all the students at Hendricks that are excited about continuing their careers with us. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, shall we? I think we shall. Okay. <laughs> Okay, just a couple of closing remarks. Um, I, there are some people in the room I need to thank as well for making this happen because, frankly, nothing happens without all of the behind the scenes work that is required. And I really want to note the, in academic terms, the speed at which this happened was remarkable. So I want to thank my partners on UCA's campus for making this a reality in what, what I consider a really short time for academic timelines. On our end, Interim Provost David Sutherland, who's in the second row back here, really shepherded this through. And he was assisted by Renette Clark in Career Services, who is also an educator and uh, has a strong interest in the teacher education program. And Carol Kolev in Career Services and his team are also instrumental in this. And of course, our admissions folks who are most of them are with us today, and Ryan Castle, our VP for Enrollment and Admissions. All of those folks were instrumental in helping us make this agreement happen. So thank you to the staff and the faculty members here at Hendricks College who worked with our partners at UCA. We have a reception now, and we have an opportunity to mingle, and, and um, you can ask questions, of course, and just uh, spend some time in this lovely facility with us. But thank you for being here and enjoying this opportunity for us to start what I hope is the first of many relationships for our students and for our community. Thank you.